Hello everyone, I'm back. Okay, we're going to start lacing this up. The uh, nice elephant skin. There's the interior, exterior. I'm going to start lacing on this side. That way it's done over here at the very bottom at the end. Anyway, um, got the lace already put into the needle. So let's get started. I use a... Uh, a double prong needle. I buy them from Tandy, but I think Springfield and Weaver, a lot of companies have them, of course. I like those a little bit better than the other videos. Here, let me bring you down. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, get the first one lined up right in there. Like I say, I like using the uh, double. Problem is, the very beginning of the video when I was lacing none of the lacing none of the information actually was put on video so I'm redoing a video for the beginning of this process and I've got my still got the elephant still got the uh, French calf interior and I've got my little clips to keep even here so uh, We'll go ahead and do this with uh, some other lace, which is kid skin. I didn't have any French calf to finish up this wallet, but it's just a uh, lacing video to show you that uh, how I do my lacing and kind of go from there. So anyway, let me let me bring you down and on my video, and we will get started right quick. Okay, bring that down. Where's my little bracket? Like I say, I do all my videos myself, so I have to rig all kinds of little things to make it work. Okay. All right, first thing we'll do is put the, uh, put the needle on, and I went ahead and tipped the, the lace to where it's, I can put the needle on fairly simply, fairly easy. Okay. This is a real pretty kid skin that I got from the hot house out in California. Good stuff. Now I use the double prong needles. I don't use the one with the little eye in it, but some people like it, but I like the double prong. So let's get started. All right, we'll start here. We'll start right about here and go around right about to there. And then when the next video comes up, it'll be where I'm splicing it in. You don't want to watch me lace the whole video so, <laughs> or the whole wallet, so we'll just go from there. Anyway, we'll get started. Pull that first one through. Make sure I've got plenty there. I use the, try to get started with a little tongue on it. That's the end of the, the lace. In there. Got to use my pliers. This kid skin is actually a little thicker than I use for wallet interiors. So instead I use it for the lace. Really works nice for the lace. Okay. There's my tail, and it's crossed over with the X. I use a double stitch lace. I like to use it more than the triple or the single. It looks good. It's uniformed. looks really nice. So I use it more than anything other. More than anything else, that is. Trying to keep this in the video the best we can. <laughs> Snug that up a little. That tail goes through there. And once that tail, once we tighten this down on that first, there it goes right there. Once we tighten that down, I trim off the rest of that tail because when you begin to complete the lace process, you don't want that long tail to be tightened down into the leather and you have to pull it to undo it 
sometimes it'll break the lace but in this case we're doing pretty good let's get over there to the corner in a few I like to lace it's kind of therapeutic for me some people don't really care for it so much but I don't mind it always watch for your twisting of the lace sometimes that can be the bad thing don't want your lace to be upside down when you're pulling it through There we go, it righted itself. Or did it? Let's see. Nope. Okay, let's fix that right quick. Like I say, it's make sure the lace is not twisted. supposed to here we go okay now it's right more better yeah just keep an eye on your lace each time and you can tell when you're you're right or not I have to feel it of course but when I'm going a lot faster in lacing got to be real careful make sure that everything stays where it's supposed to Heck, I've been lacing as long as I've been doing leather craft, probably 40, 35 years, thereabouts. When I was sighted, I never took the time to learn all the different laces available. And that was to my peril as far as the laces and laces concerned. I also would love to learn braiding, but there's not a lot of braiders out there anymore that are willing to take the time to train people or to teach. A lot of your classes at the local Tandies or whatever, they, they just don't have braiding classes that I know of. They may now, but the last time I checked with them, they didn't know of anybody that was willing to teach braiding or knot tying. Love to learn knot tying. Turk's head and bull nose or some of the some of the knots that are out there that look really, really, really pretty. Just never had a chance to learn that either. Would love to though. When it comes to the leather craft, I don't mind trying new things if, you know, <laughs> of course people are patient, got to be patient. About 15 years ago, they had a manager in East, East Texas that was at a Tandy that was willing to teach me saddle making without tooling, just the saddle making itself. We never did get together to learn how. But that was just another opportunity that I was missed. I think he retired from Tandy or quit. Went to another company, I believe. So I didn't have that opportunity either. But a friend of mine's got a, uh, a shop and he works on and builds saddles. So I may just pick his brain and see if he's interested in teaching me. I'm sure he would be. Right here in the corner, I like to try to get three holes. There we go. 
or three laces in the corner. That way it kind of transitions around the curve nicely. It looks really good. Let's see. I know it's hard to see the lacing every now and then. I'm pulling and raising it above my head. And <laughs> but that's what we have to do. Get the lacing right. Coming around this corner. Like I say, when I get up here to the edge, or not edge, but right up here a little bit, a couple of stitches up, I will con I will stop the video and add it into the next video where it should be. And that's where I add in or splice in the uh, other la the new lace. Six foot doesn't go very far. It goes pretty far, but I, uh, but it also it it gives you a chance to see the new lace continually instead of one piece that's wore out at the end of your video or at the end of your project. It goes around and is still fresh and new when you get to the end of your project. That's what I like about six foot of lace and splicing in. Works really good and as I say it keeps your lace fresh and crisp I guess you I guess it is. All right. Get this last little piece tightened down and show you what we've done. Okay. All right. Now then, that's where we started. Right there's where we started and went around. Got a real nice curvature right there inside. All the way around, nice and curvature, real pretty. And that should be the same all the way around the whole wallet. And once we hammer down the, the lace, it'll tighten up, it'll get real even, and everything will come out really nice. All right, where to put the wallet? Here it is. Just put the lacing right here, finished it up, so I will get that started right quick. What I did, or what I'm going to do is go into the next hole. I don't like splicing the lace myself, so I just leave it alone, but I'll show you. I go into the next hole and go in between the little divider here and the outside leather in that hole. This hole on this side right there is, it's empty. So you pull this up and you don't snug it like so. Take the needle off, of course, and lay it over there. So I've got my other one set up. Whoop, where did I put it? Okay, I must have dropped it. There it is, right there. Okay. All right. Now then, what I'll do is I will go into the middle of the leather in between the two pieces right there and then I will go into that hole that was beginning of the the other deal and then I'll pull it through like so and I'll bring these two as close to the edge on each one the other one's already there I just got to get this one close 
Let's see. We've got a little more to go. Okay. A little closer, a little closer. that one that's pretty close pull that down just a little okay now once that's up there I will go ahead and lace through this hole or the the loop right there so let me get that ready go ahead and lace through this so, okay, now what I'll do is snug them up, I'll pull on that one and tighten up that, that lace part right there, and then this one here should be just fine as far as being snug. Trying to get my fingers out of the way so you can see it. There we go, right there. Now, pull this one down, tighten that up. Those two aren't going anywhere. Now, a lot of people can, they can separate the, the little inside piece or the two pieces of leather, separate them quite a bit, and they can glue in these two, but I don't do that ever. I mean, I do it every now and then if we've got real soft leather. But cut them off even with the line and, and then continue on lacing. Now you don't have any visual lacing flaps hanging down and the splice doesn't have to be undone and somewhere down the line. Hello everyone, I'm back. Okay, we are going to finish up this wallet, this uh, uh, elephant skin slash French calf interior wallet, the trifold. Okay, I'm gonna, I went ahead and went around the corner. I was, uh, did some things here that made it a little bit better. So I got it around the corner already, but just got a couple of, uh, couple of points right here that we'll fix and uh, finish up got everything set up and ready so we got it maybe a couple of holes but we can fix that right quick all right get this all lined up I did a video before on this and the video wasn't in line properly so I redid it that's where we're at at this time on the first part of the video when I took the video originally it did not connect correctly so I went ahead and made another video in that to connect with it and Let's see okay let me pull this out of right here yeah got one more to pull out and that's okay right here pull this down pop that eye there's the little eye okay. the little the way it gives me a little bit to grab onto when I'm done <laughs> in the back but like I said I, I went ahead and I'm going to redo the first part of the video with another wallet just to show everybody that the beginning of the lacing was still good we just needed to fix it so we are or we did Let's see. Supposed to be. Yeah, that's good. 
Okay, I went ahead and put that through that eye loop. And then we're going to continue on lacing like normal just this last time right here. Bring the lace down. And now we're going to tighten this loop over here like so. Pull that down some. Don't want to get that completely tight yet. Want to, uh, because we're going to go back through that same eye, but in the front of it, of the front of all the lace pieces, so that we can get a good pull on it, like so, nice and easy. Then you pull back here, kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Tightens that up right in there. And then pull the last thread down in there like so. Now to tighten this even some more, you can take the little area back here that I pulled, kind of snug it up. Yeah, there you go. That snugged up real nice. Okay, and you pull this completely out like so. And then you want to now we've got a we've got an empty hole in the back and in the front of course so what we want to do is find that hole let's see okay ah there it is right there okay want to find the hole that is empty right there okay now we don't want to go all the way through what we want to do is go up through the leather kind of like in between the sandwich and go up through the laces at least that's the way I do mine other people have it different ways to do it but pull that in this should be the last of the front. Snug it up. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Now then we're going to do the back. See that came out real nice all the way across there. Not bad. There's the corner. Looks real good. Okay. Let's get this back part done. And we're just about finished. All right, we want to trim this off like we did in the beginning. Find my little scissors. Trim that off in a point so we can put it on the, the needle so it'll go through. And there's the needle. Back on the thread or on the lace. Tighten that down like so. Okay, now then we've got the back side. Now the back side has got that empty hole right there. <coughs> right there is that empty hole and we're gonna fill that hole. Now, okay, now we don't wanna go all the way through. We wanna do exactly what we did on the begin at the front. We wanna sandwich, go through the sandwich, up into the lace, kinda of angled the other way, like so. Same thing. Pull it up through there, like that, and then snug it up, wiggle, wiggle, get it all snugged up, there we go. Now you've got the lace on the back side and the front side completely finished up right there. Once we hammer it down, all that will level out like it's supposed to. Now then, what I do is leave about a about an inch thereabouts on this and then I'll trim it off okay I'll leave about an inch 
That way I can grab a hold when I pull it up or cut the lace completely. I use fingernail clippers. It's easy for me to get a hold of it. And then the way I do it, lay it in there and pull the thread, the, the lace up really, kind of really snug, and then just clip it off. There's one. Here's the other one. Same thing. The way I do it anyway. Like so. Trim it off. Okay, we've got that all trimmed up. Everything looks real good. Came out real pretty. All we gotta do is do a little little hammering up somewhat. Flattened it out. Flattened it out all on the front and the back. Looks real good, smooth. Looks good and smooth there. Okay, that is your elephant trifold wallet. Interior, exterior. We even have the interior. And I have a hidden pocket right in there underneath this little flap. Put your wallet or put your high bills in there, phone numbers, whichever. Emergency information back behind it. Nobody knows it's there. So it all came out real nice. Anyway, if you like the video, as I say, just uh, connect with me. Um, do the share and the like and ring the bell and subscribe if you can and if you will. And let me know what the comments are and let me know good, bad, or ugly. And <laughs> uh, keep, up in, keep in touch with me and go to my website, legendaryleatherwork.com. And this should be up there in a little, bit, a little bit. Got to take some pictures, some photos of it and put it up there as well along with some of the other wallets that I've made. And we'll just have to uh, connect. And, and if I can make something for you, just let me know. You guys have a good one. I'm going to head out. And y'all have a really blessed day. Thank you. Bye.